So I actually joined them as an ambassador in 2011 now, so quite a while ago. Um, so yeah, so they're a, they're a mental health charity uh, focusing on depression in young men, uh, and now all men in the UK. Um, so it's the biggest killer of, of, of men in the UK, suicide. Um, I think 78% 70, of all suicides committed a few years ago were committed by men, so it is very much a gender issue. Um, and what I wanted to do was, I initially got on board with them just like kind of unintentionally I just wanted to meet them and speak to them about the the concept behind their charity because that was like the first I ever really saw of a, a charity that was focusing on people my age so at that time I was 21. This was the first charity that I actually thought these guys are literally directly trying to speak to me this is <laughs> interesting um, and through that was really like obviously got to speak to them learn about everything that they stand for and it was really really like upsetting in as, in as much as how uh, little people knew about depression in men and yet everyone knows that men don't talk about their feelings. Obviously mental health and depression is going to be the biggest issue because guys don't talk about anything. How are they supposed to exhale? How are they supposed to get anything out of their system if they're keeping everything bottled up? That's just, it's ridiculous. Um, and then obviously hearing and reading about the statistics of, of what it was like um, to be a, a, a young guy in the UK dealing with uh, generational issues, dealing with uh, you know so many different things, relationships, jobs, so much that guys get burdened with. The, the whole concept of masculinity in itself is ridiculous. Like the whole, you, like men are expected to be like drink beer, watch football, <laughs> never talk about their emotions. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, and one of the things that, so that really resonated with me and I just really wanted to help raise more awareness for it. So initially like they, they started out as three people in like a, like literally a box room um, to like being one of the most formidable uh, charities going now. But yeah, so my role essentially at the beginning stages were was just to talk about mental health, talk about depression, but to my mates and, and to people my age and people that follow my music and people that, uh, you know, listen to me. Like I've got a, a rare uh, gift in as much as people generally listen to things that I have to say. So if I'm not using that to say something good, then it's just a waste. Um, and that's something that I think really gave me a lot more purpose in, in everything that I do. Um, because, you know, I, I have had depression for years now. And again, very much um, part of that, in as much as I didn't really know who I'd speak to about it, I don't know if I could speak to anyone about it because I didn't, one, I didn't really know what it was. I just thought it was a, like, uh, I must be feeling this way. This is just probably just just me, and like no one else has has got this because guys don't talk about this stuff. So, uh, like obviously, it was like, yeah, I'm just by myself. This is just a very me thing. So, how can I possibly explain it to anyone else because they won't get it? And then you talk to literally every other guy, mate, and they're like, yeah, we like I I feel the same way. I'm like, this is insane. It's actually insane. Um, yeah, so. We're still doing the same thing, and as much as trying to raise as much awareness, and then the only the only time we'll stop is when people aren't killing themselves through because they're depressed. Like that's that's the that's the day we'll we'll stop. And unfortunately, I don't think that'll ever happen. Um, but there's a lot that we can do to at least make it less crazy. So Prince Harry has recently spoken out about mental health. Yeah. Do you think that's helped young men? Yeah, massively. Um, his uh, so Karma, part of the Heads Together Foundation, which is part of the the, the royal um, families charities. Um, so that's been massive. Like obviously having William and Harry like just actually support what Karma are doing is is incredible in itself. But same goes for Professor Green, who's a, mate, uh, a patron of, of Calm. Um, you know, ghost poet 
uh, like every single person that has a voice um, that's spoken about calm, like David Baddiel as well, going like a, a little while ago. Um, the fact that we're partnered with Top Man is a massive thing. Um, these people that have voices will obviously help incredibly, like almost to a point where it doesn't really matter who it is because anyone speaking about it, even if they get one person to listen to them, that's that's incredible. Um, but obviously having having the royal family increases the amount of people that are actually hearing what they have to say. You couldn't really ask for anything more than that, especially in the UK. It's like, yeah, it's this Prince Harry and Prince William talking about what we're trying to do. Um, yeah, it's it's you know it's been it's been an incredible uh, couple of years, I think, for calm. Because it's the best form of expression. Like arts has always been a form of expression, um, and particularly initially down to the fact that their demographic were young people. Um, so they worked with DJs, they worked with graffiti artists, they worked with musicians like myself, they worked with poets, they worked with uh, other rappers, they worked with um, writers, journalists, just like anything that was a form of expression. Um, because when people can't talk, they'll write. When people can't talk, they'll paint. When people can't talk, they'll sing. They'll do so many different things. There's so much history in that. There's so much passion in that where uh, people have a voice through this where they wouldn't physically have one. Um, and it was, again, very much like wanting to get to that, to that person. They wanted to get to the artist. They wanted to get to the writer. They wanted to get to that person because they're the people that suffer and they don't really know how uh, to, to express themselves other than what they do. And as much as that's great and it is therapeutic, it does help, but ultimately it's not, a, it's not then the additional support that might be needed. So, and it was, a really, it was a really good approach. Like I've never seen a charity do stuff like that. I still haven't seen anything, anyone do it. And I'm slightly biased, but I don't think I've seen anyone do it as well as they've done and continue to do. So like every issue of the Calm Zine uh, is designed by an artist. Um, it features artists. It's also like, distributed in top man and like where the fashion kind of side of things it's really cool man and it's it got the it got to the people that they needed to get to so it's like yeah it just made a lot of sense